if Brandon won't change and be a better person, like really man enough to be a father, maybe he should leave because I don't want our baby to suffer with all those problems. What do you want me to do at this point, Mary? I don't know, Brandon. How's it going in there, baby? Hold on. I'm almost done. Okay. I've been living here in the Philippines with Mary for three and a half months now. So far, I'm enjoying my time here. For the past couple months, Mary's grandfather has been working in Manila, which is a totally different island. So we've been able to have some privacy. Yeah. Ready? OK. Don't worry, I wipe it. <laughs> It's both positive, see? Yeah. This is the new one. Yeah. We're having a baby now. <laughs> Where? Last night, I take my first pregnancy test and I found out that I'm pregnant. And it's a blessing, so I'm happy for it. I'm just done showering and I took a pregnancy test and it came out positive. I'm so happy. Brennan is sleeping right now, so I can't tell him. I'm very happy and I'm so excited. I'm sure we'll be a good parent, you know? Yeah, of course. I just decided to do another pregnancy test when he's awake so I can show it to him and make sure that I am pregnant. So, how are you feeling? Um, I don't know how I'm feeling. I just can't believe you're pregnant. So are you happy or? <laughs> I am happy. Let's just, let me process this. Well, it happened, so the baby is here now. Oh. My tummy, so. <laughs> I know that I want to wait until marriage before having sex, but I changed my mind because when Lolo is gone, I feel so confident. And Brandon is here now in person, and I really love him. And I feel ready to give my all to him. You know, we're humans. I'm happy because I'm having a baby fever, so that's why. I'm being crazy and I really want a baby. <laughs> right. I know we were trying, but it's different when you're trying compared to like when it actually happens and you're like, okay, hold on. Like I thought it would take longer. Yeah. <laughs> we already knew that we we're gonna get married and we we're gonna have kids at some point. And I've been waiting over two years to be with this woman and be intimate with her. So when she made the choice to kind of like pop the cherry, I was fully on board. And then she's like, you know, I just really, really want a baby. And I thought trying to make a baby will help us become a better couple. Now that she's pregnant, I'm like, oh, this is really happening. Like, what? Things just got a lot more complicated. You know, like, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also just really, really nervous and anxious. <laughs> I'm nervous, too. Lola always said marriage before having a baby or sex. That's a big deal because of our culture here in the Philippines. I get it. I don't know what to do when he finds out, but I know that we will get married someday. Yeah. I know we've talked about it for a long time. I'm just nervous about, like, what kind of future we're going to have. So many different things can go wrong. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to throw up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> morning sickness. You know, I felt really confident and I felt like I was ready to have a baby. But now that it's actually happening, I'm thinking to myself, like, where did my confidence come from? <coughs> I'm starting to have doubts. I just really hope that we can handle everything that's on our plate. <coughs> I didn't rehearse this at all. Will you marry me, Mary? 
This is very awkward. Um, <laughs> I'd been planning to propose to Mary ever since I arrived to the Philippines. And now that Mary's pregnant, I thought I can hide the ring in the store until the right moment. I'm proposing right now because I just want her to have this kind of reassurance that everything's going to be OK. I'm sorry, this probably wasn't the best of times to bring this up. I, I, I didn't really put a lot of thought into this. It's very awkward, and my mind still stressing over the death, and he's not helping me with the chores. I don't know what to say. You know, it's like, this is not the right time. I don't know your ring size, but it says on there, you know, once you read it. I am enough. Hmm. You are enough. And I want you to wear it. You wear it now? <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not going to fit, though. Yeah, I can tell. There's quite a large gap there. Maybe we can get it resized. You know, it will cost money, too. So we don't need to, like, force it to fit me because it doesn't fit me. I bought this ring when I was still in America because it had a unique engraving, I am enough. When me and Mary fight, we sometimes use the words, I'm not good enough. So I just felt this would be a really perfect ring to propose with. But <laughs> I felt like I totally just blotched it. Anyway, I know this is very cheesy and corny, and I'm being very awkward about it. Yeah, me not... too. And I didn't expect it right now because like we're stressing so much. But yeah, I will marry you. I love you, so I'm going to marry you when we're ready. When we're ready? Yeah. So. Are you saying you're not ready? You know, marriage is not like a joke. We're not kids anymore. Soon we will have a family, so we need to like be mature enough financially, emotionally, and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to marry you. It really worries me that what if we won't solve these problems and we will be stuck like this and forever be stressed. Have a hug. Oh. I love you. I don't want to marry while I'm stressed. Marriage is very important. Like, I'm always watching a movie and, like, <laughs> girls um, having a... Uh, like a great marriage and then he will just propose to me like I know that we're not ready yet because we're still struggling and I'm, I'm still really stressing so bad so I'm just saying yes because I need to and I don't want him to be hurt or anything so I just say yes Ever since Brandon proposed our fighting only got worse He's always shouting, always slamming the door. This morning, we got a huge fight when he's watching TV with that volume up to 100. I told him to lower the volume, but he won't listen. Brandon, please, lower it. Can you lower the volume? You're not alone here. You need to lower the volume, but you're turning it up. I said lower it, but you're turning it up. TV, can you talk to me? Just lower the volume. He's telling me, you know, the bad words like, you know, F you, Mary, she, he's like that, and everybody can hear. After that, he just walk away and won't come back to the house, and he's always doing that. Brandon. What's up? What's going on, man? What happened? had a really bad fight with Mary. Things got heated. I just felt like I really had to just get out of the house and escape that environment. I thought we were going to get married and have a family and all this stuff. But instead of being happy, me and Mary are fighting more and more. I don't know like what to say, what to do. For the most part, I just like walk away because that's how I grew up. And sometimes I'll go to the town square and I'll just sleep on a stone bench. 
I've come to the spot a few times, and then I go back usually a couple hours, and then we're calm enough to not yell at each other, but to talk to each other with a normal attitude. We fight more about if I'm sleeping in or if I'm playing a game too much. And yeah, you know, maybe I could try harder around the house, but I'm not just doing nothing. If she's hungry, I'm trying to get her food. If she wants her back scrubbed, I help out. And we still end up like yelling and arguing. I know Mary hates it when I come out here. I'm the only foreigner here and everyone sees it. They're like, oh, where's Mary? Why is he walking alone? Everyone's gossiping and rumors spread. Like, oh, maybe he's going to meet somebody or maybe they had a falling out, who knows? But I don't, I don't do it to punish Mary. I do it to get away for my sake, for me to calm down. My grandpa got back home from Manila a week ago. I've been avoiding him because even though my Lola is okay with me being pregnant, Lola is very unhappy with it. Andy God. I am very sure that he's upset about the fighting because all of the neighbor can hear and we making a, you know, scandalous. He just wants a very respective family and he wants us to be perfect. Okay. It's scary, but I should go to Lolo and talk to him with Brandon. I really hope that talking to Lolo will help us a lot and Brandon will change because this is life, it's not a game. We'll see what happens. Um, first, I just want to say I'm sorry for me and Mary's fighting. I want you to know that I do respect you and I appreciate everything you do. He's like, the house is now a war zone. Ay nabalaan ko na nga nabunti si Mire, pasla makasal, kasakit ba siya gawin. Ilaman na, nagbuntis na siya, nag-inaway pasla, gulo, busong. Tapos ang iyan ang gawin, tapos ang inaway niya dahil yung nalakat dito, pagkahuya ka sa mga tao, palibot, na mula yung inambal. It's okay, you can tell me. Okay. Lola, Lolo said that all the people here talk about us, like, gossiping about this family because of me being pregnant. And the fights here, the neighbors there and there can hear it. Ano man yung situation ng pangabuhay niyo? Napadayon man niyo? Anak niyo? He's like not okay with me being pregnant because of you and the way you show your attitude to this house. Okay. This conversation really makes me feel like I'm just not a good person. But I've been feeling a lot of anxiety and uh, stress. I try to fight it as much as possible. Sometimes I don't fight it. Would you be mad at me if I assure you that I'm gonna try and get better? Then be better. Okay, well, it's not gonna happen in one minute. Okay, Brennan. It takes time. You're doing it continuously, like nonstop. Even though you know that I'm pregnant, you're still going out and he's like, don't help me with things. And you're still shouting. You don't care. So would it be better if I just go back to America then? Did I say that? Did if you, you want did that, you not then say go. That? Did you not say that? Then go, go, go back. You think it's better for everyone here if I'm- Maybe. If I'm just not here. Maybe because you can't change your attitude. 
if Brandon won't change and be a better person, like really man enough to be a father, maybe he should leave because I don't want our baby to suffer with all those problems. What do you want me to do at this point, Mary? I don't know, Brandon. Hey, baby. How soon until your mom gets here? My mom's bus should be here pretty soon, like any minute. My mom is arriving today and I think it's gonna be a really big culture shock for my mom coming to the Philippines. So nervous. You know, I hope she's just gonna be nice and be like, oh, hey, you know, it's nice to finally meet you, Mary. But you never know. I'm excited to see my mom, but I am nervous of what's going to happen between my mom and Mary. Especially because when I told her that me and Mary are having a kid soon, she was immediately thinking, oh, no, this is not good. So, uh, did you get uh, that message about her being pregnant? I did. Yeah. And to be honest, I have some apprehensions of my own just because you guys did just meet. Your guys' relationship has been pretty tumultuous lately. I feel like there's some things you guys need to work on with yourselves before you bring in another human for this situation. Like, there's, some, there's, there's a lot of concerns. Okay. Mary already feels sensitive about my mom's disapproval. And my mom is recovering from her addiction. You excited? Not really. <laughs> like, worst case scenario, I don't want Mary to get into a fight with my mom, and I don't want my mom to have some sort of excuse to relapse. How was your journey? Um, it was long. <laughs> When we were driving, I guess I wasn't prepared for what I saw. It's all poverty. It's all shacks. When I go to their house, I only saw pictures of it being built. So I hope it's a little bit better of a situation. I want to feel at ease with Brandon's choice to be here with Mary. Um, I don't know if it'll happen, honestly. Hi. Give me a buggy. <laughs> well, this is Mary. Hi, Mary. Nice to meet you. Hug, hug. Why are you so white? What, you mean You've here? lived here for, like, ever. I'm actually more tan than when I got here. OK. I want to have a fresh start with her, but I feel like she's not willing to because Brandon told her hug each other, and she's like, change the topic. It's so awkward and very nerve-wracking. Anyway. Um. Do you, uh, gosh, what was I gonna say? The look in her eyes, it's that look that I recognize when you don't like someone and you're just pretending to be nice. She has been manipulative. She has isolated my son from me and the rest of his family. And behind closed doors, she's going to make my son's life a living hell. And now they're going to be raising a child. I just don't trust her. So, how do you like it? It's different. Different? The poverty level is a concern. Yeah, as far as American standards go. There's some, like, not so well-built houses. Yeah. Was the bus ride horrendous? Yeah, I almost died, <laughs> literally. Like, I'm not even joking. I don't know what the hell going on. Those buses like. hit those corners hard, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Already, I feel out of place, and I don't know what to say. The way she looks at me, like, she's so mean, like a mean girl. That's how I feel. <laughs> what? I just noticed we're both crossing our arms oh. and having our... <laughs> yes, matchy matchy. Yeah. <laughs> this is where you're gonna sit, and okay. uh, Mary's gonna sit behind the driver, and I'm gonna stand back here, and then our house is just down the road. Okay, cool. As far as me and Mary having some sort of good relationship, that's not happening. I'm looking for a seatbelt, but apparently yeah, that's no seat not belt. a thing here. No, nope, not on the bus either. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> and I refuse to walk on eggshells around anybody. So if I see their way of life or their relationship is going to be destructive, I will say what I need to say. You know, oh, don't upset Mary. What you're saying is her. I, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> 